You want to get an advantage in the AI world. You want to improve your social skills. You want to be a better writer, better speaker. A lot of that is listening to people. Again, it goes back, it goes back to visceral brain training. You want to get your visceral brain, your visceral lizard brain, your emotional self under control. Have empathy for others. That's very empowering, by the way. I guess something, something else I learned in combat sports. When you, uh, when you face an opponent, you want to understand the opponent's uh, behavior. You want to know what they're good at, what they're not good at, what they're likely to do if you give them a jab or you go for a low kick or you shoot to their legs. What are they going to do? You want to know these things. It's, 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 it's an empathy. Same thing in business, same thing in software. Understanding your clients, what drives them, what their motivations are, what your coworkers' motivations and drives are, has a huge impact. Very powerful. Number three, study the marketplace. Study the market. Look for holes of opportunity. There it is. I'll put it right here. Look for holes of opportunity. What you'll find is, depending on where you are in the world, you will find that certain technologies are in demand versus others. So people in Africa tell me that uh, they're years behind, I don't know, uh, versus the West. You know, but, you know, I won't even say that. I find, for example, I found like Germany apparently is very big into .NET. You know, and you have one or two places in the world that still do still do Ruby, you know, like San Francisco. But, you know, all joking aside, Ruby, there could be an advantage there because there's so few people who want to do Ruby and AI, they hate Ruby as a general, the AIs basically don't want to learn Ruby. So there might be huge opportunities for you as a Ruby developer because there's a lot of Ruby, there's a certain amount of Ruby out there, code bases, that need to be maintained and updated. And um, there's probably fewer people getting into Ruby. So that to me spells big opportunity. So I've seen that before. It's, uh, I remember a friend of mine just back in the 90s, he had assembler skills, assembly. He hated it, but he kept getting offered these high paying assembly jobs, the equivalent of 200K a year here uh, at this time. Because uh, nobody, wanted to do assembly and eventually he took it off his resume because he didn't want to be hired for assembly. But, you know, so you have to look at your market, study the market, look at where the opportunity lies in the type of work you want to do. If you're freelancing, which means small business, you're going to see a lot of web, a lot of WordPress, you might see Wix, Wix jobs. Uh, you might start seeing chatbot implementation jobs. Again, everything that you do today should be supported by AI tools. Don't ignore them. They make you hyperproductive. Okay, the last two are going to surprise you. Number four, you want to be financially resilient. Financially resilient. That talks, I talked about this about you want F you money. You want to lower your debts. You want to have no debt, ideally. You want to get rid of your high interest debt. You can consolidate debts and start paying them down. And eventually you want to get to your point where you have at least a year of cash on hand. This living paycheck to paycheck is nuts, in my opinion. Absolutely nuts. Uh, so you don't want to be there. You want to uh, work to become financially anti-fragile, financially resilient. Trust me, when you have no debt and you have one year worth of cash on hand, number one is no debt, number two is one year worth of cash, F you money, Life's so much easier, right? You know, I have like lifetimes of FU money now, but I, so I don't care. You know, if I don't make money, the, the economy goes, me, I feel bad for people around me, but me, I, Uncle Steph will be fine. But yeah, you want to uh, get your financial house in order. Again, like everything else, it comes down to lizard brain control. So when I started freelancing back in the 90s and started developing my uh, SaaS products, I had a dating site and I was starting to, uh, I started making good money as well with, um, I sold website design leads. I did a few bunch of things. I had a, a hosting company, a little hosting business. I, I sold off and I, I, I went in a long-term affiliate thing with the hosting 
And uh, 25 years later, it still pays me money. Not nearly as much as it used to, because I don't support it, but I haven't touched that thing in decades, and it still pays me money. <laughs> anyway, you want to be financially resilient by getting... When I started making all that extra money, there we go. I did not go crazy and start buying expensive cars and giant houses and stuff. I just stayed frugal. For about six years, I still lived... As a college student, I lived in uh, one be- uh, 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 a studio apartment. I had the bed in the corner of there, but it was a nice apartment, beautiful view of the city. I loved it. It's still one of my favorite places. I've been in huge houses, and, but I still like that place. Anyhow, so by staying an extra six years there while my cash accumulated, some years I was make- saving like 80% of my income, 80%. You know, you come out of it and you're you're sitting pretty sitting pretty. So yeah, you want to become financially literate? I talked about it. Go check out my financial channel. You find it. Uh, I think it's called Uncle Steph. You can. That's where I talk about that more. Number five, you want to stay in shape. This has to do with food, micro exercises, and um, just good at lifestyle habits. Sleep well. You know, don't go. To, don't go, stay up all night often drink a lot of water low carb input low carb diet low carb diet uh, high protein diet lift weights build muscle uh, do walking 10k a day that's what my fitness over 50 program is all about that's why i put it out everything i put out by the way is based on what i know is important i know is important Uh, and when you go back to the financial number four the first step is get rid of debt, control your spending habits, uh, save your one-year FU money, then start saving for retirement. The quicker you get there, the, f- the better off you're going to be. When you, as you save and invest, it's that cum- accumulation of cash that matters, right? It's that accumulation of cash. And the last, at that tail end, let me draw this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leverage my amazing drawing skills here. If you're still watching this video after all this time, uh, kudos, congrats. How are we doing for time here? Oh, 35 minutes, what a, what a video. So this is, uh, all right, so we're going to go high-end drawing skill here. There we go. Bottom is time. This is cash. Up here, more cash. Out here, more time. So, when you first start saving and investing, when you first start saving and investing, it's like it's like down here, and it creeps up. There we go. This is how it goes. So the first while, you don't see much, but at some point, it starts to, it starts to shoot up. So the earlier you start investing and saving, you want, to get, you want to get to here as quickly as possible. You want to get to there as quickly as possible. So you see that huge, huge spike up in your net worth. That's the key. That's the key to this whole thing. You do that, you're going to be, you're going to be super, fun, super happy. That's how most people get rich. So this first bit here, you want to work really hard to get this built up because then the money starts making itself. So when you get to about, we'll say 100K, some people say it's 100K saved and invested. Some people say it's 200K, whatever. But you got 100K and you, you, know, you can get like 10% return a year. So then every year that 100,000 makes you an extra 10,000. Doing nothing. Or that 200000 starts making you an extra 20000 a year doing nothing. That's why you want to get there as quickly as possible. So there you go. Those are the lessons. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, that's how you're going to navigate in the AI age. That's how you're going to get ahead. And uh, I'm Uncle Steph. I hope you found this video useful. This is what I do. I share my knowledge, my decades of experience, so that you guys can... Uh, jump ahead of the game. That's all. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.
Thank you.